Hello, it's Christina Rowe from Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? Maybe you're thinking about podcasting and you want to get one off the ground, but you have a lot of questions like, how do you record an episode? How do you get your show into all the apps people like to listen to? And most important, how do you make money from your podcast? Well, the answer to every one of these questions is really simple. It's Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad. Podcasting is a terrific way to get your message out to the world. And this Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs podcast not only features our Women Helping Women Standout Online members, but now we're going to actually be matched with sponsors. And we can reach even more people through Anchor um, and reach our target audience of listeners by podcasting. So this is a great opportunity for you if you want to have a side hustle, if you want to make some additional income. And if you've always wanted to start a podcast and make money doing it, just simply go to anchor.fm slash start. That's anchor dot, so A-N-C-H-O-R slash D-O-T slash F-M slash S-T-A-R-T to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm dot slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Hello, it's Christina Rowe from Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs. And today I am bringing you a blog post called Rethinking the Typical Email Marketing Strategy. Put a stamp on personalization. And this was written by our standout online member, Anne Marie Ienko from IS Content LLC. So I want to share this with you because email marketing is really important. There are people out there you may hear say, oh, well, e- email marketing is dead. No, it's not. Yes, the open rates aren't that great. Maybe you get 15, 20% open rate. However, it's still a very viable and important part of your marketing strategy. And building an email list is just so, so important for so many reasons. It just seems to be, hands down, the best way to make sales when you send emails out, build relationships. And also, you can use those emails for custom audiences to create Facebook ads if you have a verified Facebook account. So there's a lot of reasons why you should be building your list and using email marketing. So let's just get started with what Anne-Marie has to share with us. So Anne-Marie says, for years, business owners believed email marketing was the go-to approach in content marketing. However, with social media and countless distractions fighting for your audience's attention, emails tend to get lost and forgotten somewhere. Despite the sad situation, email marketing is neither dead nor outdated. Email marketing used creatively will be a valuable strategy in content marketing in 2020. However, a little primping and refreshing here and there may be needed to help regain its maximum potential. Utilizing a one-size-fits-all mailing approach has no place in content marketing in 2020. In the same vein, stuffing your mails with call-to-actions doesn't seem to be working anymore. Striking a balance between outreach and promotion is essential in effective email marketing. The return on investment of email marketing is enormous once this balance has been achieved. According to Salesforce, for every $1 invested in this direction, you could gain about $38 in return. Perhaps this potential suggests why marketers are not letting up on email marketing. Also, a report by the Direct Marketing Association shows that about 91% of marketers view email marketing as a very strategic tool. It is rated even above social media. The participants listed the primary aims of email marketing biz, sales, engagement, brand awareness, and building loyalty. Increasing sales was named the first objective of email marketing. And this can be said to be the problem. Marketers often focus too much on sales to the detriment of the other goals. They fail to spark up authentic conversations or engage the minds of the audience. 
Also, the emails are not made engaging and attractive enough to turn the audience's attention away from flashing distractions. If you want to use email marketing as an effective tool of content marketing in 2020, then you need to avoid these mistakes. Using email marketing as a tool that goes beyond increasing sales. The first step in this process is to adjust your mindset. The goal is to be less pushy and more about storytelling and creating empathy. In email marketing, you enter into the personal space of your audience. It's not the same as carrying on business overtly. Since your audience willingly provides their email addresses, we can infer that they want to hear from you. Think of emails as a personal digital letters you use to communicate with your audience. If you want to seize the full potential of the strategy of content marketing in 2020, you must be prepared to expand your thinking. The goal is to infuse email marketing with a personal touch and connect with your audience. Email marketing and newsletters. A newsletter is a platform through which you can reach your audience when they are and on their conditions. The newsletter is generally a collection of opinions and articles. However, you can make your newsletter much more than that. You can use it to initiate conversations with a wider audience, thus creating opportunities to build relationships with your customers. Using e-newsletters and email marketing will be one of the most powerful techniques of content marketing in 2020. Rather than take the approach of driving sales, offer value to your customers. Give them something that would grab and sustain their attention. Use the newsletter as a way of engaging your audience and making them interested in your brand. Make promoting your newsletter a priority and gently remind those who visit your website to subscribe to your newsletter. An opt-in pop-up box would work wonders in this respect. Also, keep in mind that when you offer value alongside a human feel, people will be more inclined to share your newsletter. Thus, it will help increase your reach. Anne Hanley, a successful marketing leader, has been able to infuse personalization into her newsletters. She engages her audience by sending them personal stories and things she believes worth sharing. With her newsletter, she initiates intimate conversations with her audience, thus building and solidifying her relationship with them. Being personal is not the same as personalization. Just because you use someone's name in your email does not mean you've succeeded in giving a personal touch to your mail. An easy tip to making your emails more personal is to divide your email list into segments. According to MailTrimp, a segmented email marketing approach is 14% more likely to result in the emails being opened. Instead of trying to craft a one-size-fits-all email, breaking your mailing list into segments allows you to reach your audience in ways that best suits them. You would be able to set the tone and direct conversations towards what interests each group and tailor content to their needs and desires. Finally, no matter what creative strategy you use to adopt in email marketing, ensure that you offer value consistently. Have a clear plan, set goals and objectives you want to reach, and channel your emails in that direction. All these tips we've shared are guaranteed to help you make effective use of content marketing in 2020. Now, Anne-Marie has been a copywriter for over 20 years. She's worn the hats of editor, content advisor, content marketer for a large number of U.S. and worldwide companies. In 2016, she decided it was time to create her own agency to help clients really make a difference with their content. Now, Iris Content works with big names such as Forbes, Network Newswire, and has also developed ongoing relationships with small and medium businesses across the world who want to improve their reach and gain more traction. As of June, Iris Content became Iris Writing International. You can visit Iris's new site at iris-writing.com. So that's I-R-I-S and then dash writing.com. So this was a fantastic blog post by Emory. And like I said before, she's a standout online member. And this is just phenomenal information that she's sharing with you about email marketing. And it's so true. You do want to be personal and share stories. People love when you're vulnerable. When you share stories with your audience, they really feel like they know you. 
And so if you're just writing the same old boring emails, I would highly suggest that you start opening up a little bit and sharing some stories with your audience and let them get to know you. And more importantly, share a tremendous amount of value with them. Offer them some really great free content that they're going to really enjoy in your newsletters and email marketing. Um, And if you would like to become a standout online member and have your blog posts featured, 